That is so cool. This is so funny. Like a drum machine and like a little drum pad. This is just such a great way at, like to show uh, songwriting techniques. Kia ora and welcome, my name is Zoe Stibi and I'm a vocal coach with over 18 years of experience in teaching people like yourself how to sing. I honestly believe that anyone can learn to sing, you just have to be given the tools, well, just to be shown how, right? And that's why I have developed the Vocal Academy, which is my online singing school to help you in the comfort of your own home learn how to sing with more stability and like less fluff so you can stop like searching YouTube for how to breathe better. I've got it all for you in the Vocal Academy. Check it out in the description below. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at cannons with Ruthless, or is it Ruthless with cannons? Not 100% sure, which is absolutely fine. First time listening to this song. Very excited. The comments say that they are incredible. Let's just get straight to seeing what they're up to with the vocal technique. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we've got what's well, obviously either some sort of pedal that's being used to create that effect of the sound or some sort of like in post production that's being put on there, but it's still very, very cool. We'll take this as a live performance. I've never seen that microphone being used. That's usually a shotgun microphone being used in live performances. So maybe that also contributes to the sound that we're hearing. Lovely, lovely sound. No vibrato coming in the sound. Quite sort of like a uh, steady sort of sound. -da 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 -da. I would say this is relatively, rather than going da -da 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 -da, I don't really think this is quite falsetto. I feel like this is still very much spoken on pitch, but like almost a, a chess boy sound almost being taken up like high. I was gonna say too high, it's not too high. So you can hear, that's why I'm thinking like it's still chess. Like, word on the street. Da, da. It's not like word on the street. Da, da. There's not a whole bunch of air coming through the sound. And I think that that sort of like perception of the air is actually just the words are failing me. Even though I just ate lunch, right? Like the uh, reverb. Zoe, crank up that brain. Word on the street, So with all of that reverb going on, it's hard to sort of really tell what's going on in the bit, but she's gonna ruthless. She's got this harmony going on, which I do feel is slightly breathier, but obviously with this amount of reverb, it just sounds like it's quite a breathy sound. So you go ruthless, toothless, toothless. So I think now we've gone into more of a head voice quality, but still with very closed vocal folds. Let's just watch that again. She's increased the energy going into the sound, but that kind of gives us this perception of this volume change. There's probably not like anything actually going on here. <laughs> Thank you. 
so funny. Like a drum machine and like a little drum pad. I mean, obviously there's still like more than one person, but so, so simple, really repetitive and just like creating a really great vibe and a good song. So, I mean, you don't have to have like a whole bunch of crazy amounts of equipment in order to start your singing career and especially like start your YouTube channel as well. I say that I, I still haven't like really put much effort into my own YouTube channel. It's coming. But anyway, too busy hanging out here with you guys on YouTube. And we hit the 100,000. I just had to edit it in there because it's like ah, right there against my face. I'm so excited. Um, but if you want to join me for more vocal technique, schmanoozle, I just made up that word. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Love to see you around here more often. There's not really a lot like changing going on in the sound. It's quite repetitive, as I said, which is awesome, but also um, not really too much to comment on. Okay, so we're getting this like, da, 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 da. we've still got this chest voice sound going on there. And really a lot of this, I mean, you're not really hearing much going on in terms of the voice to change with the emotional kind of sense of the, the meaning behind the lyric, but she's, you know, using the way in which her body and looking at the camera and looking forward to convey that. So you don't always have to make massive changes in the vowels or in the voice itself or add loads and loads of effects on it you can just simply sing where you speak <laughs> repetition of the making me look foolish and this is what's called a hook in a song you've probably i'm sorry if it's like telling you how to suck eggs but basically this is the repetitive part of the song that you like can't get rid of then when you're washing the dishes and stuff like that foolish so that you you know you want to keep on listening to the song so did you notice there we kind of got rid of a lot of boom -ba -da -ba -da -da, the guitar went down we just had a little bit of the drums or the drum pad there in the background and that's a really great way for us to, in a bridge section, if we're not going to change the either the melody or the chords or change the feel, I suppose that is changing the feel. Um, what we do there is we cut out a whole bunch of the instruments and we make this, like we bring the sound down. It's a classic storytelling technique. We go like this, go up, we find the arc, this, this, this sort of like crashes, we have an emotional dip. And then that gives us the impetus to kind of fly off into this last chorus. And that juxtaposition of the quiet section and the loud section then makes the loud section appear to be even louder or more interesting, of, even though nothing has really changed. It's a very, very classic storytelling technique that we can use in our music. <laughs> such a great way uh, like to show uh, songwriting techniques and actually how you can use these layering techniques to you know what is a really repetitive song which is great because it's staying within our ears and just again this the bringing down and now what's happening you know the guitar 
fuck, why am I trying to sing that high? Anyway, whatever. The guitar with those repeated higher notes. Uh, so not only is the speed now faster with the guitar notes that he's playing, which is again creating another sense of urgency in the song, but also with going higher creates that sense that something different has gone on, although I'm probably assuming that he's only just gone up the octave. I didn't really hear too much of the guitar like I wasn't paying too much of attention to it beforehand but you can really hear that now the guitar is coming through although we have this really steady drum beat they're creating these lovely lovely sound kind of changes within the song absolutely perfect really really perfect then not only story time but also like songwriting as a as a technique <laughs> Okay, so we've got this chorus like three times at the end there and we have foolish. We had these ooh, these background vocals come in there. Again, another layering way because what we want to do is we're, as we're building a song, we're kind of doing this. So we're letting, either we're going to do this with the volume or we're going to do this with the instrumentation. So you'll notice in songs that like go guitar and then like guitar and piano and then like guitar and drum and stuff. Obviously we only have guitar and or drum pad and that's just really cool because even with those two instruments, obviously singing is an instrument, with these three instruments, we are still building in quite a lot of color changes within the song. But um, with those, ooh, just again, taking us that little bit, this apparent sense of urgency or, or, or volume and just everything getting bigger. And you notice there that she was moving a little bit more. Again, creating energy in the body is a great way for us to increase the energy in the song without actually getting louder. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Admittedly, it's probably not a song that I would have on my playlist, but I know that a lot of my singers love um, this style of singing is very in at the moment um, with sort of that floaty light vocals going on. And actually, I really love that sound because, yeah, we're actually on the G4, which is the G above middle C. So this would be a perfect song if you're looking to work on your chest voice quality, actually. Ruthless, da, 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 da. And that's what we're always looking for, is songs that kind of repeat themselves are perfect for working on a particular voice range. But that's actually why I have a free lesson for you available in the description below if you're looking to find your chest voice and improve on that. So, oh my goodness, okay, they're called cannons. I just saw that on the end screen there. Let me know down in the description what your favorite cannons performance is with a link, please, to their live performances. I'd love to see you running more often, so hit that subscribe button. And if you want to sing with more stability and security, check out my online singing school, The Vocal Academy, because we have a free masterclass available for you in the description below. It's just so much stuff. Read it. Yeah. Um, I haven't looked at Cannons before, but this sounds very, very similar in terms of the vocal qualities of Ethel Kane. So you can check her out up here and I'll see you around here next time. Have an awesome rest of the day and happy singing. Oh, just remember that everyone can learn to sing. I'm here to like give you the tools. There you go. Have them, have them, have them. Read the description. Kakita <sighs> Anon.